Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey and today I am at the Fort Anne Historic Site in Annapolis Royal, Nova Scotia and I've got my friend Andrew from Leica here and today we are going to do um, a topographic survey here with Leica Captivate in the field and then I'm going to bring that data into Microsurvey CAD so you can see how easy it is to go from Leica field into Microsurvey office. Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis with Leica Geosystems. Today I'm going to take my GS18i and CS30 field tablet with Captivate on board to collect a scene here at Fort Ann. Once we get going, I'm going to show you a couple cool features in the software and then hand the data over to Kaylee. Okay, so one of the cool features in Captivate that Andrew um, took a few minutes to show me while we were out here, um, you can see right here at this point where Andrew is taking the shot, this one point actually serves as both the top of this rock building structure and also the bottom of the wall. So Andrew showed me how to do multi-coating. So with multi-coating turned on in Captivate, Andrew was able to use both building and wall codes as he took the shot and from that one shot Captivate created two separate points with the same coordinates but different codes. And when I brought this project into Microsurvey CAD I could see two points right on top of each other in this location, one with building code, one with wall code. It was great to learn about the multi-coding feature uh, which I think is a definite time saver for uh, those of you in the field. Another highlight of Captivate was being able to set up your line work to maximize your field efficiency. A lot of data collection programs can do this nowadays, but I was so impressed with the specific ability that Captivate had to be able to actually survey in the arced building wall in our scene. So it seems like something simple, but being able to do stuff like this in the field avoids having to play connect the dots when you get back in the office. Okay, well that's it for our field survey here. So um, I'm going to go back to the office and show you how easy it is to bring this data in and see what it looks like. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here again. I am back in my little office here and I'm going to take the survey data that Andrew and I got out in the field the other day and I'm going to bring it into Microsurvey CAD and kind of show you what that process looks like and uh, what the data looks like and just kind of go over some of the benefits of the Leica Field Captivate into Microsurvey CAD in the office kind of workflow. Okay, so I'm going to open up Microsurvey CAD. I have a drawing that I have pre-configured for this project. So here we go. I'm just going to quickly look over these configuration options and make sure that everything looks good here. Select OK. So the first thing I'm going to do, which is a big benefit of the Captivate into Microsurvey CAD workflow, is under the MS Traverse tab, we have an import raw data file and this is a special utility designed to import a like a dbx file directly into your cad program so i'm going to choose that so that's the folder where it is i'm going to hit import and it's going to read the dbx file and bring the information into microsurvey cad so the first thing that pops up here is our traverse editor and I just want to bring attention to this one little thing here. So you remember in the field where Andrew showed me how to do um, the multi-coding. Well, if you look here, you can see these two points here, GS55 and GS56. We've got the same northing, the same easting, the same elevation, and two different codes. So that's how those points come into Microsurvey CAD right there. So that all looks good. And here is the file. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes and kind of just check this file out and kind of point some stuff out as we, uh, as we look at it. So first thing I noticed right off the bat is we've got this nice little flagpole. So 
that's something that we had pre-configured a little symbol so when Andrew puts in a code that says flagpole and he takes a shot when we bring that into microsurvey CAD well we've already got the CAD symbol there for it yeah anything that says building comes in automatically onto the layer in microsurvey CAD called structures anything that he has he has a top of bank and a toe of bank any of those topographic features, well, they automatically come in on a microsurvey CAD layer called Topo. So this is the microsurvey CAD automat feature. Kind of, you're getting to see it a little bit in action, but the capabilities of it are quite impressive. Basically, you just take a little bit of time getting all of your symbols and your layers pre-configured and have it set up. So basically, whenever you do an import, everything's coming in on the right layers, it's coming in the right colors, it's coming in the right line weights. Different individual points are coming in as um, certain bird's eye view symbols. So it's taking a lot of the legwork out of the drafting. So yeah, we see here because of the line work in Captivate, there's no connect the dots. We've got these beautiful arcs here. Everything looks great. Um, I'm just going to spin this around here. And you can see that all of the three-dimensional information or the elevation information came in and we have some nice topography there to the scene. So another great thing about this workflow is that all of the shots that Andrew took in the field, they came into MSCAD as polylines. So what that means is that they are also smart lines. So if you don't know what smart lines are, basically if if this was a big traverse network, what Smart Lines would allow you to do is once you adjusted the traverse and uh, applied the adjustment, all of the lines and points would automatically adjust themselves accordingly. So you don't have to go individually changing each different line. So yeah, this obviously was a very small scale survey, but you know, you can see here, I pretty much have to do some just basic drawing cleanup in the office and it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, so I just took a couple minutes and did a little bit of uh, microsurvey CAD drafting here. Um, so I added a few dimensions using the linear dimension and align dimension commands. Um, I also added some text, I'm just using M text and then also here, for the entrance to uh, the black hole, we did um, the arc align text. Then I just added a scale bar and a north arrow to the viewport. So that's it for our little primitive uh, site survey here. Um, I'm just going to do an export to KML to show you guys uh, what that looks like. And also I'm going to print my plan out into a PDF format. So. Okay everyone, so that's it for today's video. Um, so I just wanna highlight on what we learned today and the benefit of if you're running uh, like a Captivate in the field, um, to be running your microsurvey CAD in the office. So first of all, we have that simple DBX um, import utility. It's not a one button import, but it's very close. Um, and then the second big thing is just really the microsurvey auto map working with the uh, Leica Captivate feature coding and being able to really dial that in and maximize the uh, the field to finish efficiencies and then tying that all together you've got a great field product a great office product hopefully providing the continuity between field and office and meeting all of your survey needs so thank you so much for your interest in today's video if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video and you want some more information about the workflow as always please feel free to reach out anytime thanks again and happy surveying